the thing we learned was not to bail out our kids when they overspent. It doesn't help them learn financial responsibility if we're there to pay for something that they want or even need and then they can't get because they've used up all their money. Our kids need to learn the difference between needs and wants. Impulse buying always got them what they wanted, but then they ended up not having enough for their needs. And so it, it was very important for them to learn what needs are and what wants are. And there's ways so that I usually ended up drawing uh, things to explain to them. Their attention span is really short, so it had to take like a minute or two. But if we did it repeatedly, and they would get the concept after a while. Also, what I do with these uh, spending jars that I forgot to mention last time is that inside, you won't see it here, but there's a piece of paper. And what we do is that we write on that piece of paper what they got and what they spent that week or if it's two weeks now that they budget for. So that at the end of the two weeks, when they get their next allowance, my kids now see, ah, I got eight coins and I've used up seven of those on this is what I used it for. And they get a visual idea of what it was that they spent. What we actually do at first is we draw those eight coins. And if they've spent the whole coin, they color in that coin. If they spent half the coin and it got changed, they color in half of the coin. So that it's kind of their way of having a financial sheet to see where their money went at the end of the week or month. Another thing I like to explain to my kids is the concept of the credit or debit card and that it's it's not a magic card that you can just use and it's giving you free money because you know they see it all the time. We use it and go shopping, we go anywhere, we're just always swiping the card. And um, they don't then get the idea that work equals money. So uh, we kind of have to show them by actually going to the bank with them, taking cash, putting it in an envelope with the cash deposit slip, giving it to the bank and saying, look, the bank keeps it for us and the bank puts it on this card. And when we use it from this card, it takes it out. So I don't have it there anymore. So they have to actually visually see you putting it in. You need to get that visual connection to it, that the card is not just a spending thing that you don't have to feel much responsibility towards. What I like doing is drawing for my kids what money is and that it's a way to store your working energy for something else that you want to get or store your energy for something that you want to get later. When my kids reach uh, older age, when they get to be about 12, we'll probably taper that uh, 50 cents or $1, what it is, per year of their age, because that's the age when they can learn to be even more responsible in working. They can get jobs easier around the neighborhood and all that, and they can actually make their own allowance because their budgets actually do go up because of course we know they have higher expectations for gifts and wants and electronic gadgets and all that. So they need to make the extra money. And I don't think that extra money should come from me just giving it to them, whether I had it or not. They need to learn, I think, to make their own money. Uh, I'll tell you how it goes because they've not, not reached that age yet. That's the idea so that they can then learn to feel financially responsible and kind of financially free from me to have their own financial responsibility and feel and feel good about being able to make their own money. So I think allowing my kids to work for cash, even a little bit, a little bit of work at first, teaches them uh, a lot more financial independence.